Welcome everyone. Good evening. If you are in China, good morning or good afternoon if you're somewhere else like myself. We're very excited to have you with us for another Beehive experience, another Beehive webinar. I'll be turning off the music if I can manage. Boom, boom. Great. So how's everyone sound? Can everyone hear me? All good? Amazing. Great. So because I miss China so much, I'm using the Great Wall as my virtual background on Zoom. Well, soon. China is coming soon. In any case, today's topic is very important and very dear to our heart because the reason why we started Beehive was because as international students, we couldn't find a job in China. We couldn't find an internship. We didn't have any connections uh, there uh, in Beijing and we didn't have enough support from our university. So today's topic is very, very important and I'm very excited to have you with us today. Before we start, I would like to quickly introduce Beehive. So far, we have helped more than 8,000 people with finding jobs, with growing, with building their mindset. And uh, we're both in Beijing and Shanghai and Beehive so far has been powered by volunteers. So Kate has been, one of the speakers has been with Beehive for the past two years. And also we're working with Eric from one of our partners, Hived, that offers consulting for students. So if you are in Beijing or Shanghai, we hope to see you at our offline events soon as well. If you are not uh, in any of our WeChat groups of, uh, of Beehives, then you can scan this QR code using WeChat. So this is for uh, a Beehive WeChat group where we post our events. If you are already in a Beehive WeChat group, then you don't have to scan it. Make sure. I'm, I'm sure that everyone has enough WeChat groups already. But if you are not in any uh, WeChat groups of Beehive, then please scan the QR code. And this is your, your way to stay connected, share ideas, and ask questions. We will be sharing uh, some of the, the screenshots from the event and the notes in the group chat here. Before we start, big shout out to, Hi to Hived, who is our partner for today's event. Hived has an upcoming finance bootcamp. So if you're interested in finance, then you can check them out. It starts in a couple of weeks. And I think you get a 20% discount if you sign up through Beehive. Again, more events in finance. If you're interested in compliance, there's an event coming up with Hived on Saturday. And then in two weeks, we have an event with SNP Global and Moody's. Uh, speakers are based in London. So if you wanna learn more about credit analysis, credit rating institutes, or just careers in finance or London, just join us. Again, free events uh, this Saturday and next Saturday. If you're not following us, please do so. And without any further ado, I would like to uh, jump into today's uh, topic, which is all about finding a job in China as an international talent. So we all know that uh, being in China is not an easy feat studying at a Chinese university or trying to find a job in China is not very easy if you cannot speak Chinese. And if it's if you're new in China, eventually through time, things get easier. But in the beginning, especially, it's quite challenging. So today's speakers, Kate and Eric or Yue Bin Song, will be sharing some of their insights while that uh, they discovered through uh, either recruiting students, uh, young professionals for jobs because both of the, of the speakers have experience. Kate has experience in Beijing with, with her HR company, uh, recruiting foreigners. And Eric as well works at a headhunting company, Corn Ferry. So he's a headhunter and recruiter at Shanghai. So Kate, remember, Kate is in Beijing and Eric is in Shanghai. Uh, right now, Kate is finishing your studies at Tsinghua University. And while at the same time doing an internship at the Dedecon China, a management consulting firm in Beijing. And uh, that's where she's uh, tuning in from. Hey, Kate, how are you? Hey guys, I uh, hope you're listening to me now and you can hear me clearly. Uh, my name is Kate and yes, I'm very happy to be a speaker tonight. So hope we have some fun and some value. Amazing, we can see that you're still in the office. So again, thank you so much for joining us 
for your, for your time. I cannot wait to see your quick presentation that you prepared for us, especially, and of course our panel discussion. We have comrade, and then we have Eric, who's uh, currently a recruiter at Corn Ferry. He studied in the UK, and he's also working at as Hive as the marketing director. Welcome, Eric. Thank you for joining us from Shanghai. Thank you again for staying uh, after work for this webinar. Hi, Petros. Hi, guys. I hope uh, it's a great honor for me to join this event. I think I want to you know, share some useful knowledges or useful information with all the audience. Yeah, hope, hope this can help you guys. Yeah, thanks. Amazing. Thank you, Eric. So without any further ado, we will jump right into the topic. The speakers have prepared their presentations for us where they will share some insights uh, that they have discovered for the job market in China as job seekers, but also as recruiters. We start with Kate, and then we have Eric, and then we can jump into the panel discussion where you can ask all of your burning questions. So if you have any questions, okay, you can so, yeah. type in the, in the chat box and, uh, or raise your hand. And uh, if, for any tech difficulties, just reach out to me, send me a private message. Again, thank you for joining us. Thanks, okay, that's it. Okay, so uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, I'll take a moment to briefly introduce myself to those who do not know me um, or do not know Beehive. Uh, so my name is Kate. Uh, I'm uh, Ukrainian, but I've been living in China for the last six years of my life. Uh, I've been studying my undergrad at Tsinghua University and currently I'm doing my master's also at Tsinghua. Uh, it's my second year and I'm doing master's in uh, management uh, with School of Economics and Management. Uh, and um, yeah, I have done many internships in China in different types of companies and in different industries. And I also run my own HR related company in Beijing, uh, focused on foreigners, but mainly in the education sphere. Um, today, uh, I will be more focusing on the internship part uh, from my personal experience. Uh, so if someone of you are current students currently enrolled and are interested uh, in finding an internship in China, I hope that my material and my insights will be valuable and um, will have some help for you. So um, jumping into my agenda, today we will cover three uh, main questions real quickly. Uh, so what are the companies looking for in the interns overall, uh, not specifically going for foreigners or Chinese uh, citizens? Uh, also, we will look at the CV, how to make your CV stand out among other uh, candidates. And we will also cover the common steps in hiring process and to how to get prepared for them. So um, let's just look at the first part. Um, so what are actually companies in China looking for in interns? Um, in this part, I will talk about both Chinese companies and international companies in China, because uh, even if we're thinking about international companies in China, the majority of workers are still Chinese. So basically, uh, it's still the um, Chinese market and it has its own uh, preferences and its own uh, differences with uh, the Western markets or the markets of your home country. So in China, uh, two very um, specific concepts and um, kind of um, understandings of when you're searching for an internship are playing a huge role uh, in your success. So these are PO and PJ fit. Um, yes, so um, all the aspects of the candidate are evaluated accordingly to the opening that you're applying for and mainly basing on PO and PJ fit. So what it is uh, for those who don't know, PO fit is person organization fit. So. Uh, basically, the recruiters and also the team members of the department you are applying for, they are going to look at you from the perspective of uh, the company. So is the company culture suitable for you? Uh, do you share the values of this company? Are you willing to devote yourself for the success of the company? And so on. So this is person organization fit. As to the PJ fit, it's person job fit. So um, basically, are you aware of the main responsibilities that you are going to be holding? Uh, at your position? Do you have the necessary knowledge and experience? And also, can you handle the pressure and amount of tasks? If we are talking about uh, some business-related internships, I'm going to dive into it a bit later. Um, but uh, basically, these two concepts are playing a huge role in uh, your success as the applicant. 
So um, my main um, tips on this point on how to be successful at this part would be, first of all, to research. Research is a very important word in this part, or, as well as like in the whole application for internship and even for full-time jobs offers. Research the official websites, research the social media of the target company, try to have a chance uh, to talk with um, the employees of this organization because mostly these kind of organizations, they will either have some uh, open events or some webinars or uh, some open days where you can just uh, directly come to the company and um, talk to someone or maybe find some peers from your university or from other universities who have been doing internships in these companies. Uh, your main purpose of this step is to learn about this organization, to learn about its culture, its mission, its values as much as possible. Why is it important? It is important, first of all, for the PO fit part of your uh, hiring process. Um, and uh, also it will be important